Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I have a fun one for you all because we're going to be breaking Minecraft again. That's right, in CU33, they removed a lot of my favorite customized super flats, and that kind of made me sad because, you know, a lot of the really cool combinations that were almost console exclusive to some extent were only really available using this creator. So, for instance, if you wanted to play Nuclear Wasteland Survival, you could have Lava, which activates uh, Oak Planks, which eventually activates TNT and makes this kind of massive nuclear apocalypse. It's really, really cool. There's cool things like Sky Vintage that have all been patched out of the game because because they broke the game a bit too much. And I figured to protest, we could do something cool, or we could just break the game again and show that, you know, it's gonna be broken anyway, so maybe let it be really broken. That's the dream behind today's video. Hopefully you do all enjoy it. If you do, please do like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So as you can see there, the wood turns into stone. Uh, we're just gonna use melons instead because they're kind of fun. And we're gonna get straight into just using this because of all the combinations that you're not allowed to use for customized soup flats, all the ones that will prevent you from using, there is one that it does let you use, which, uh, you know, can still Prevent, uh, cause some problems, and that's just having lots of TNT near each other. So you have 128 TNT uh, layers if you want to, have 50, have 60, have whatever you want to do, but you know, that's something fun that you can do that actually allows you to really slow down the game quite a bit, because obviously TNT on that scale is going to be kind of bad. The game, like I said, actually kind of handles it kind of well, because it doesn't activate all the TNT. So for instance, uh, let, me, let me show this. So if we just dig down massively through these layers, You'll see that if, uh, you know, even if we do try and activate the whole thing, it doesn't set up a chain reaction that does start the whole world, but it does cause some issues anyway. So yeah, just by itself, even just using TNT, oh, oops, um, <laughs> just by itself using TNT like this is going to cause a problem. We'll just have a TNT there and there, and we'll just see what happens here. So, as you, uh, oh, by the way, this is a quick heads up. If, um, like, flashing images are, like, really bad for you, then this, this video is going to hurt a little bit, and indeed, this trick will hurt. So don't do it if you have epilepsy, I think that's the one. Uh, and yeah, basically, here you go. So you can see, just doing it down here, the game is going really slow. It doesn't even realize this TNT behind the TNT till it's too late. It's kind of a fun thing to look at, right? Like you can see through the walls of the, the, the should just be nonstop TNT because of the way it's rendered. That's kind of fun uh, by itself. If you ask me, we'll uh, activate some few more and you can do this. And if you want, you can just do this all day, every day. I mean, it's it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting in my opinion. Uh, plus obviously there's the melon breaking in there and every now and now, <laughs> there we go. That's, that's where we're really getting them. Every now and then you see like the melons just continuously bouncing off it. Oh look, we got another wall that's just not rendering it. So yeah, there you go, simple as that. If you want, you can just go down here and do this. But by itself, this isn't quite so fun as I was imagining, right? So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna combine it with another couple of techniques that kind of still work. So um, yeah, what you're gonna want for this next one is you're gonna want a bunch of minecarts. So you know, uh, just go in and get yourself some minecarts or minecarts of uh, TNT because it fits the theme. And then, uh, you know, you want to make yourself a railway so you can put that stuff down. So uh, this does, you, you're going to make sure this is in the sky just so it can't blow up, which, you know, we can do that later ourselves if we want to. But for now, we'll make sure it's nice and high in the sky, preferably above Y128 if you want to be extra fun, but that's uh, something you can do right there. And uh, yeah, just make a little four bit like this place a, a little railway and you if you don't know you can actually place as many minecarts on a 4x4 railway as you like the logic behind so is kind of lost to me but you know it's something that's very easily doable as it turns out so yeah just like this as you can see a bunch of minecarts all on the same spot fun idea right <laughs> what could go wrong there and uh, basically because these are all entities these minecarts it really does slow down the game having to keep track of all of these especially when you start moving them because when they're just like this it's entirely fine right but when you nudge them and they all move at the same time and they're nudging into each other and into each other it really, really does slow down the game calculations, and we combine that with TNT, and we're gonna have some fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip until I've got to like the 200 minecarts it is, because eventually you will get a message saying you've hit the limit, and I'll get back to you then. Okay, so we have reached the maximum number of minecarts in the world now, and they're all in this two by two space. So the uh, the amusing thing about this is um, that I actually used TNT minecarts the first time. You can use those sometimes, but they're a little bit dangerous because they, they're very light to explode, and now it's taken me like 10 minutes because I had to redo it. But yeah, uh, we've got all of it there. The collision detection and just all of that for 200 minecarts, as you can see, it just the game just doesn't even know what's going on. I don't know what's going on looking at this, and as a result of this, just by itself, this is like, going to slow down the world quite a bit. But if we combine this with our massive TNT <laughs> uh, craziness, then you can imagine it's going to get quite a bit worse. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to set off some of this just down here. You know, leave the world uh, burning and stuff. As you can see, most of the TNT yourself isn't even going to turn into stuff. Yeah, it's just <laughs> because that's one of the ways the game actually handles not going too crazy. But eventually, uh, we will get one that will decide to actually detonate. Or, you know, let's use redstone charge instead. So, um, if we use a redstone block instead, 
then eventually we'll just get something that goes off and it will just work just fine. <laughs> As you can see, some of the blocks even disappearing there. So, I anyway, know, yeah, so if, let's just hope that goes off at some point, but instead, let's focus on some other stuff. So, as you can see, yep, yeah, TNT minecarts definitely exploded. Um, let's show you some other stuff that's massively slowed down now, just by this and that kind of working together. So, um, first of all, let's show you, uh, obviously, uh, you know, even if we wanted to move a minecart around, it'd be slow. But let's show you, first of all, um, you know, like mobs, because the creeper, this is my favorite example. This is the one that intrigued people. Obviously, uh, you know, because the world's in super slow, the mob AI, like, just isn't using any of the CPU cycles. So when you punch it, it's just like, what's what's happening? Okay, we're going through the air, are we? That's happening. And one of my favorite things about the way that creepers work when uh, the world's in super slow is we can actually go to survival, detonate an explosion here, right? So wait for him to realize we're here. Then go into creative. We, we, we could even spend like 10 seconds and we end up with a fat creeper that just stays there for a solid 10 seconds before suddenly exploding. And isn't this just the best thing? <laughs> it's a fat creeper. <laughs> and he's just frozen, of course, because as far as the game is concerned, he's blown up already. But obviously, there we go. The model takes a while to kind of catch up. So yeah, super, super fun time. You can do that. That Another few things that we can uh, show off is uh, so if we replace our redstone block. Oh, actually, let's just... Uh, Place the Minecraft TNT with this. Uh, if we if we try to make any flowing block, it's going to take a very long time to flow. So there's a well that moved for me. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's going to take all this time for every single block. Uh, same goes for lava, of course, except a lot slower because lava's pretty slow anyway. So uh, let's try and do the same just over here place the lava book down, eventually it will turn into uh, more lava, trust me, it will eventually happen. And also uh, along the same lines, if we grab a furnace, we put it up here, then you'll see that, um, because again, all of this stuff is affected by the tick speed, so we've got a bucket of lava, so let's just grab ourselves um, some raw salmon, I guess, uh, throw that in there instead. And then you can see that what should take, I believe it's like 8 seconds, maybe a bit less, uh, what should take that long is going to take this long instead. So let's, let's wait for the arrow to go. Okay, it's been uh, 2 seconds and the bar is 0% full. Okay, now... Now it's been more like five seconds. Okay, we're about a tenth of the way there. So you can see that's probably going to take maybe a minute to cook an entire piece of food. And that's just one of the great things about having broken the world this much. You get that kind of issue. So, um, yeah, the lava is also flowing now. It's got a whole three blocks in each direction. Super fun times, right? I, I like it. So, yeah, um, if we actually go back down uh, to the bottom bit of that down there, hopefully we can actually donate some more of the TNT. Like I said, the, the game is kind of resilient to you, uh, you know, kind of doing this too much. So if you do try... Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, there's a lot of fire over here that's going to cause some issues. Um, but yeah, what actually happens is instead of actually denting the TNT, it just kind of deletes it, which makes more sense than breaking the game some more. But, you know, I want to see some some crazy TNT stuff, so that's why I'm down here. Uh, and also, look at these mobs here. So they spawn naturally, I guess, because it's dark down here, and every single one of them, if you want to punch them, it's just uh, <laughs> going to knock them all in the air. Which means, actually, by the way, if you want to, for instance, okay, so let's say we reroll re re a creeper in a minecart, then you punch it, you kind of work out where it's going to fall, you put the minecart there, Oh, we, we've got the max number of minecarts, but we could totally fit one in there and it would work just fine. So, yeah, a bunch of fun ideas you can do involving that. Um, in fact, because only the creepers are the ones exploding right now, let's use that to our advantage, shall we? So we activate this creeper, activate this creeper. Uh, we should have some time before we can have to go to creative. Uh, activate this creeper and then go to creative. So <laughs> we got three fat creepers all at the same time. Oh, actually, oh, wait, they, they, un they unactivated themselves. Okay, let's try this one again then, shall we? Really, really try your hardest to activate that creeper. I believe you can do it, or, or not. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is Minecraft thing at its most broken. I think it's super. Oh, we got some actual stuff going off, and I think that's an explosion damage that just hit me. Or was that a zombie? I, I can't even <laughs> tell at this point. But I can see there's just a giant slime on fire here. Again, causing some real issues with the world. And that's kind of fun. So, yeah, we've broken the world so much that TNT just doesn't even work now. There's so much fire all around the place, and none of it is doing anything. Which is a very... Oh, because the fire is spreading too. Which is a very amusing thing. Uh, it's kind of a bumble. I have to go through all these fixes, and yet the world technically still can be broken. But if you do want to break Minecraft, if you love seeing your slow down creeper modes, if you want to slowly watch one dramatically die, that's something you can entirely do. So yeah, I hope you did all enjoy today's video. If you did like the video, uh, like it, please do like it. And let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like it. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Um, because they'll try and patch this one out and then we can try and break Minecraft some more because I just really love to see the crazy cool super fats back. That's all I want. That's all my demands are. Um, I, I, I don't know. That's that's all I want. So no, yeah, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing, actually. If you have any questions for Q&A Saturday, leave them in the comments down below and uh, preferably like kind of personal sort of stuff because I know people are asked update questions anyway. But, yeah, any Q&A Saturday questions, ask them down below and I'll get around to them for Q&A Saturday this week. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching and goodbye.